This is a guide on how to populate your student profile photos with an actual photo of them. Um, so they're all pre-populated. They can of course subsequently change them but this means they've all got a photo to start with um, so they're easily identifiable by staff. Hopefully it helps people learn names and so on. So what you need um, is to have your photos on your information management system. So I'm demonstrating this from the point of using Capita Sims and then taking the photos and putting them into Google Apps. The first thing you need to do is create a Sims report that pulls off the admission number of the student and their email address, which is their Google Apps username. So you need to have your Google Apps usernames in Sims. So the report that you get from that will be an Excel sheet you need to save there as a CSV file, get rid of any header. So I've got my real one there, which has got real people's names in, but I'll just open up this demo one here. So it will form this sort of style. So that's the uh, admissions number, comma, and then you'll have the um, username. And you'll have a long list of those for whichever students you want to populate the profile pictures for. So that's important to get that, first of all. That takes just a few moments to do. And then you need this photo export uh, tool, which you can download. In the blog post, I'll uh, put the links to where I downloaded these tools. But um, I put this into a folder called uh, photo export. And there's a helpful readme text file that tells you how to use it. And you run this from the command line, so you type in um, from the directory that you're in, uh, photo export, a username and password for Sims that will have permissions to do this sort of um, task. So your username and password goes there. The output folder, now I'm using this photos folder here. So this photo, one thing that flummoxed me for a few moments is the fact that this output folder needs to be in double quotes. So in my case it was D uh, photo export photos. You can use this to export staff photos as well. You can populate staff photos as well doing this. Um, you can select a particular year group if you want. Um, this bit here, name as is, is not particularly relevant because we don't want to do that. Um, the default file format is JPEG, which is what we want. The bit which is important is this one here, forward slash names colon file name. And that file name is the one that you've created from the report. In this case, it would be demo CSV, or the one I really used was photo CSV. And what that will do is save the photo in the format, the Google Apps username dot JPEG, which is what we're going to need um, to have that file as. So you run that command with uh, photo export and uh, what you'll get in your photos folder is lots and lots of students photos there's nice little thumbnails with an appropriate file name you then copy those to wherever you've got the Google Apps management tool installed um, I'll put a link to the Google Apps management tool where you can download it and a really good online guide on how to install it and get started with it because the instructions which are on the Google Apps management um, website themselves are a bit out of date and really quite difficult to follow and there are some much better instructions on how to get it up and running around. So what you do is uh, copy that whole folder I minimize this remote desktop session and paste it into your GAM folder. Now when you set up Google Apps Management Tool, which is essentially a command line interface to um, Google Apps and allows you to do all sorts of powerful batch processes that you can't do easily or at all within the management console, you put that folder of photos in there. And what you need to do then is um, create another CSV file. Um, so we take that original photos CSV file because we're going to run a batch command and I've got a text file here to remind me what the command is. So this is essentially um, 
that's just an example of how you change somebody's photo. But if you um, open up a command line, so I just do this, command prompt, and I go to GAM, whoops, once you've got GAM set up, what you do is run this command here. So GAM CSV allows you to do batch operations on um, your Google Apps uh, management console. So rather than running a single GAM command to change, say, one user's password, uh, you can change a whole group's worth of user passwords, or in this case, change a whole um, year group's worth of uh, photos, as I did a few moments ago. So GAM CSV reads data from a CSV file and generally the first column of data in that CSV file is going to be the email address of the user, so the username. And then the subsequent columns are going to be whatever data that GAM command requires. So this one here, GAM user, my first column in the CSV file is a column of email addresses and then next to it is the path to their photo file. And the way you can do that um, is if I just grab this demo file here and if I open that with Excel So I'm not going to need that column with the number in there, but what I am going to need is a path here to a uh, picture. So I can type in the formula equals I'm going to have to put in the path to wherever I'm going to put my photo. C colon uh, I put it in gam photos and then the next part will be the actual username which I've got there and then I need to put on the end the dot j jpeg like that so I'm going to create a CSV file that GAM is going to use to look up that user and that's where their photo is stored which I just copied from my information management system Capita. in reality I'll have a long list of these and you just copy that formula down you then need to save that as I'll put it on my desktop uh, CSVMS DOS I'll save that back onto there. Yes. Close that, it's going to nag me again. And if I open that up now, you'll see that I've got my email address, so the username, and the photo. Now one thing I missed out here is that I need to give these headers. So email and um, photo and that's what I'd need and I'll have all my users in there so once I've got that I can go back and run this GAM command so I'm going to look the demo one was called demo CSV my real one's called photo CSV so it's going to look in photo CSV and it's going to apply this command as a batch command. So it's going to apply it to every single line one at a time. So it's going to look up a user and you put this squig the squiggly line symbol and then the column name where it's going to find the username, which is the email, update, photo, and then a squiggly line and then wherever you call the second column, in my case, photo. And that's the path to their photo file, Okay, which you can generate from 
the file that we had a moment ago. And when you run that command, it updates all the students' profile pictures pretty quickly. I mean, in a few minutes, I did a couple of hundred. So that's how you do it. It seems a little bit complicated, but actually, once you sort of get your head around how to do it, it, it can be done in, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. You've got all your photos up to date. Um, as I say, it doesn't stop them changing the photo, but of course you can always, when they've got new photos, update them, and then you can keep them reasonably consistent. Anyways, that's just a little thing that you might want to try doing or experimenting with. GAM is fantastic for um, doing these sorts of uh, batch commands, and that's generally how you do a batch process based on a CSV file. Okay, thank you for watching.